A deadly home invasion in Warren may have been part of a tragic love triangle, according to police. Early this morning, officers responded to a break in from a home near Hoover and 13 Mile. 7 Action reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson is live where it happened. So Jennifer Ann, what have you learned about the victim in this case? Well, we know the victim is a 20 year old guy and police say he lives in this home with his two younger siblings, his mom and his stepfather, all who were home around 2 a.m. when this all happened. His next door neighbor, well, she was home too and she just happened to be outside on her back porch talking to one of her kids who lives in California. They're three hours earlier. She says she did hear a couple of noises but had no idea what it was she was hearing. I heard a ching on my uh, gate. I said, oh, that's probably the feral cat. Then Susan Dobrosovic says she heard another noise, this time in the bushes. I said, okay, that raccoon's got to be back because there was a lot, a lot of rustling in the, in the foliage. Only moments later, when police lined the street in front of her home, did she realize something was very wrong. I was very surprised to see the lights. Police say it wasn't a raccoon, but a 26-year-old man creeping into her neighbor's backyard with a semi-automatic weapon. He was wearing a mask and he did have gloves on. And he had put a ladder up to that window, broke the window out, and then came through the rear of the home to the front bedroom of the home. Once inside that bedroom, he shot a 20 year old man who fired back. Meanwhile, officers found a 29 year old woman sitting in a car not too far away and discovered she knows both the suspect and the victim. We believe that maybe the uh, female was uh, trying to get even with the ex-boyfriend who would possibly be the victim in this case and had gotten the suspect to go in to take him out. Ultimately, the suspect was killed. The 20 year old was shot, but is expected to recover the whole ordeal happening while his mother, his stepdad and his younger siblings were upstairs. I feel emotionally hurt for the people involved. Yeah. So again, the 20 year old man inside this home was shot, but he is expected to recover uh, so far today. There hasn't appeared to be anyone home, so we haven't gotten an update on that condition. But Commissioner Dwyer here in Warren, he said that prior to this, there have been three homicides this year in the city of Warren, and in each of those cases, both the suspect and the victim knew each other. And he says that police have been able to capture the suspect in under 12 hours. So he says he wants the people of Warren to to know that they are safe and that police are working hard to keep it that way. Reporting live here in Warren, Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News. Jennifer Ann, thank you. Well, new revelations in the